Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're taking a look at the rotational swing. Now with the traditional swing, we're producing force here, what we call the sagittal plane, right? Now with this rotational swing, we're gonna produce force transverse plane, what we call transverse plane, all right? The kettlebell's in front of you, you're gonna shoot your hips back, grab it, you know, bring, you, you can't hinge, you, you can't produce a lot of power with this one because there, is, there isn't a, a powerful hip extension, okay? So what I mean by hip extension, I mean this. This, this movement here where it lets us bring the kettlebell up, project, project it up this way, okay? Which with, with the rotational swing, we can't do that, so we can't grab such a heavy, heavy weight. Either way, right in front of you here, you're shooting your, your hips back. I'm gonna shoot my hip this way, put, put the kettlebell to the side, and as you move, bring the kettlebell close to your body, you know, rotate in this manner here. When you come back, the kettlebell is coming close to your body again. The closer the kettlebell is to your body, the more control we have of it. So we come in here, my hip is out of the way. You should feel a nice stretch here. And we go back up, okay? So that looks like this. Ain't no telling he'll do for the paper. Ain't no telling. Two play, punch straight. I stay my place. I stay. I'm a smooth operator. I drop top of my wheel, man. That car driving make you feel some type of.